Hi everyone and happy Wine Wednesday. If you are new, I am Ellie from A Glass After Work. Thanks for joining. Since we only have five days left until Christmas, I thought I would share a few last minute ideas for um, Christmas presents. Um, first though, I thought I'd just quickly let you know that I'm not gonna do a whole big tasting review. However, I am drinking this storybook mountain vineyard wine. If you are a regular uh, viewer, you know that I am a member of the Storybook Mountain Wine Club. I love their Zinfandels, and so I thought it would be fun to open up this wine just because I think the idea of giving a wine club as a Christmas present is a great idea. I know some people don't like the idea. I think it's a great idea. It lets you share wine you love with somebody who you want to give a present to, or um, maybe it lets you share wine that they love um, with them so that you know that they can get it all on a regular basis. So I love the idea of a wine club for, um, for a present. So that's why I opened that up and I've really enjoyed, um, being a part of that wine club. So I will link, uh, my previous Storybook Mountain videos, um, so that you can see them and give information to the wine club just in case you're interested in that one. With that, why don't we get started? So first, I thought um, whether it's in terms of stocking stuffers or maybe you want to put together a small basket of a bunch of different little things. These capabungos are super cute. Um, so we use them, assuming that we don't finish a, a, the bottle of wine, we use them all the time. Um, and basically you just take the little plastic um, piece you stick it over the top of the wine. And what's great about it is that it actually seals the wine in. So for example, let's say you wanna put the wine in the fridge and you wanna lay it on your side. I mean, obviously you're not gonna put it upside down, you'll put it on the side. But as you saw, it seals, there's no leakage. Um, plus on the front, right, like there's fun sayings. These two said um, WTF, what time finally, and I earned it. Um, but if you're buying for somebody who's a pet lover or a sports lover or wanted some other kinds of fun wine sayings, there's all kinds of different options. And the set of two is $8, so it's not expensive. And um, I think that they're a lot of fun. They also have um, a version for sparkling wine called the Kappa Bubbles. Um, so the Kappa Bubbles um, comes in a similar type uh, packaging. It's pretty easy to open. And I'll just show it to you um, kind of the way this works is you've got a little plastic piece and you put it around the neck of the sparkling wine bottle and then you turn it and it holds it tight. And then just this little stopper. Mine has just champagne bubbles on it, but you can get it, the stopper with all, kind of like the other ones, you can get the stopper with all different kinds of good stuff. So um, definitely lots of options there. The um, cap of bubbles is $10 for one, so it's a little more expensive, but um, still, it's a lot of fun really is very helpful if you're not finishing a whole bottle. Some other wine accessory ideas are the Simply Charmed Magnetic Wine Charms. You've seen me talk about them before, but there's this, for example, this holiday set. It's a set of 12, and the set of 12 is going to um, be $28. And just kind of as a reminder, right, so you saw the front, right, but then you've got the little magnets on the back so that you can see from the side that they hold onto the glass. Um, I, for example, have one on my glass right now. See mine's a little piece of candy. If you look sideways, and there you go. So you can see how it sits right on the glass. So it's great, right? For a wine glass, it's great, but let's say you are also serving cocktails. If it's basically in any glass, so it could be stemless, 
whether it's a wine glass or a rock glass or any sort of a type of glass, um, and it's fun. Um, they also have sets of six. This, for example, is actually the July 4th set. Um, I grabbed this because I thought it would be multi-purpose. I can use it for July 4th, but I can also use it for um, New Year's Eve because it's got fireworks on it. So there's the little fireworks, right? And so the set of um, six, well, the set of 12 is going to be $28. The set of six is 16. So um, obviously the set of 12 is a, definitely a better deal, but they have all sorts of holiday options. But if you don't want to do a holiday option, you want something that could last year round. Again, it's the same, same sort of thing as with the Kappa Bubbles and the Kappa Bunga. Um, they have cats, they have um, golf clubs, they have cars, they have shoes, they have all sorts of things. So whatever the person you're buying for is into, you can probably find a magnetic wine charm that they are going to enjoy. And so that then brings me to um, the soiree. I really enjoy this soiree. I've used it before. Um, I will actually link to my video down below where I do a longer discussion of it, but in case you don't remember, the soiree is a bottle aerator and you just stick it into the top of the bottle like that. Pour it out and it aerates the wine. It's great, right? It's easy, it aerates the wine, it saves you the trouble of having to decant the wine if you don't have time or don't have space to have a decanter, but um, it still helps give the wine a little more air and, help, and helps it taste a little better. So um, I am a big fan of the soiree. Um, what I also will say is that I'm a big fan of the corksicle. Um, the new corksicles look like they only come with an aerator option. I haven't used the corksicle aerator, so I don't know how that works. Uh, that said, the corksicle is great for white wine in that basically it's a nice piece of frozen something, um, and it fits inside the wine glass. So I'm not going to actually stick it in my red wine because I don't to chill it, but you just take it, you stick it in, it goes all the way down, and it helps keep your wine cold once you, um, you know, once you've opened it. Uh, I will say just as a point of, let's say, to avoid user error, you do want to make sure that you pour some of the wine out before you put the corksicle in because there is not enough uh, room to hold the corksicle in the bottle without actually, um, it displaces too much wine. I know that from experience. Corksicle also now is making tumblers, uh, both um, kind of stemless wine and um, champagne tumblers, they run in the 20 to $25 range. They also have other um, kind of larger canteens where you can pour uh, the bottle of wine into the canteens. I haven't tried any of those, so I can't give any recommendations, but it is on my list to try before next year so that maybe I can put that on the um, present list. If you've tried them, I'd actually, I'd love to know what your thoughts are. All right, so... The other big thing, which I don't have, but um, it's uh, one of those things that I have been lusting after, but if you have somebody in your life that you want to buy an expensive present for, or maybe you want to buy an expensive present for me, no, just kidding. Um, I highly recommend taking a look at the Riedel decanters. Uh, I really like the uh, Riedel, the um, Amadeo, I don't, I don't know, I don't know if that's how you say it, but the Amadeo Faso Almano, it's a $400 canter. I, I have looked at it for years and obviously I don't have it, um, but I will put a link down below so that you can uh, take a gander at that if you uh, want something to, to lust after a little bit, or maybe you have somebody you can actually buy it for.
So why don't we um, then take a look at some wine openers. Um, I will put a link down below to the video that I did reviewing this perfect wine opener, but uh, you, you may recall that this is a gift set. It's got um, the wine preservers so that you can pump the, put them in the top and pump the air in to preserve them. It has the foil cutter. And then the big thing about this is that it makes uh, opening the wine easy in that you basically, assuming that the cork was still in here, right, you take the thing, you put it on the top, stick that needle into the cork, and then you pump um, until the cork comes out nice and easy. So you don't worry about cork breakage, um, you don't have to worry about twisting or anything like that. It's ni nice and easy. I'll link to the video that I did uh, trying that out down below. This set is um, $70, so it's a nice little gift set if you're looking to do a gift set for someone. Um, I do still tend to use my um, waiter's corkscrew. Um, I really love my waiter's corkscrew. It was given to me as a present. It was, um, it's really nice. It's got um, a really nice wood handle, and it was, um, it's a nice um, special corkscrew. Uh, and so you can actually spend a, a lot of money on these. You know, some of them are not expensive at all. Some of them are, you know, hundred, two hundred, three hundred dollars. And so this was given to me by uh, several of my girlfriends when I passed my first. Uh, wine certification exam and so it's obviously really special special to me they spent a lot of money on it which I really appreciated and I think about them every time I use it so it's one of those things where I don't you know people sometimes I don't know whether they think about giving a corkscrew as a present but I obviously really loved mine um, then you can also go with wine glasses um, so I have a couple of wine glass options to share um, this is kind of, um, I really, I'm gonna just move that over for a second. Um, this is kind of one of those, um, more like a gag gift type option, but I thought this was fun. Um, admittedly, Big Mouth did um, give this to me as a sample, but I thought it was great. So you can see um, on the box, it's the How's Your Day Going glass, right? And here's the glass, it's a, it's a real glass, right? Uh, and it just has the lines on, here so that you know you can pour up to the line did you have a good day did you have a bad day did you have a don't ask kind of day um i don't know i, I it's one of those things where it's almost like do you want to have a good day because if you have a good day you only get a very little bit of wine um but i thought it was fun especially if you're going to do like a white elephant or you're looking for a really small present it's ten dollars and um yeah, I, I thought that that would be really good. These, I love these. Um, so these are the Govino wine glasses. So the Govino wine glasses, these are 16 ounce wine glasses. They are shatter proof and dishwasher proof if you put them in the top rack. I'm actually using my Govino wine glass right now. The first time I ever used them was actually when I was out in Napa with my friend Courtney. We were doing some bike riding and wine tasting. We grabbed um, a picnic lunch for ourselves. And so we wanted to be able to actually drink the wine out of real wine glasses. And so we bought the Govino glasses for the first time. And since then, I actually very often will travel with my Govino glasses just to make sure that I'm able to actually drink wine out of a wine glass. They've never broken. Um, we use them all the time when we have company. Uh, obviously not for a dinner party. Those get the special wine glasses. But if we're going to have a bunch of people over, so we don't have to worry about anything dropping or anything breaking. Plus, since we don't have to hand wash them, they can go right in the dishwasher. It, it makes things really, really easy. So I, I love my Govino glasses. Another option is something like this which I actually grabbed for my husband for Hanukkah this year. And if you wanna see a picture of it, I am actually gonna post about it on Instagram. So um, you can take a look there, but it's, um, it's kind of hard to see, but it's, a, um, it's an etching. It's the glass has, um, the glass has etching in it. 
And it says, I drink and I know things. So if you're a Game of Thrones fan, um, you will recognize that. And I grabbed that from um, Etsy. Uh, the vendor was Adirondack Etching. And they specialize in personalized and themed um, laser etching. And everything is all real glass. They do stemless wine glasses. They have wine glasses with stems on them. They do coffee mugs, rock glasses, a whole bunch of things. Um, they were super, super fast when I ordered it. I got it within a couple of days. It was $12, so it's not that expensive. And um, it's been, it's a great quality. Don's been drinking out of, out of it a whole bunch. So I have nothing but um, great things to say about this wine glass in particular and the idea in, in general. So if you have somebody in your life who is a person who likes to both journal and take wine tasting notes, I can't recommend the moleskin wine journals enough. Um, Santa used to leave them for me in my stocking every year. The only problem is that I actually, this past year, I, I actually started using Vivino more than I actually take notes on paper. I just, um, I love the process of writing them out and especially with the moleskin, the paper is thick, um, there, it's organized nicely in the specifically for wine. So it's got the categories of like appearance and nose and, and all of that. It's just, I do most of my um, tasting notes virtually at this point through Vivino, so I just I just am not using it as much. That said, if you know somebody who does like taking tasting notes, does like writing them out, I definitely recommend the Moleskin. And it's not expensive, it's like $12. Um, they also have one for beer. So it's the wine journal and the beer journal. Um, they're both really nice, um, so I definitely recommend those. This is Cork Dork by um, Bianca Bosker. I really enjoyed this. This was um, about her uh, going through the process of basically just being a regular wine drinker to studying to take the um, sommelier exam. I, one of the reviewers called it kind of the kitchen confidential of wine. I think that that's actually a really good description of it. And on top of it, I am going to start off the new year with a giveaway and I will be giving away this book. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't consider buying it for um, somebody else. And then you can have your, your copy for later. Um, and then this is another book um, that I thought was really great. It's um, basically, it's the guide to drinking rosé. You can see it's got like the rosé wheel here. Um, this is by um, Jennifer Sem Seminetti Bryan. She was the fourth American woman to become a master of wine. Um, she actually goes by Jedi Wine Master on social media, so definitely check her out. She's a lot of fun to follow. She's, um, she's, she's very knowledgeable and she's very nice. And obviously she likes pink wine. I like pink wine since you can probably tell that from the amount of pink wine I drink on here and the amount of pink wine I have on social media. So um, I obviously was a big fan of this book. Um, so one's kind of a serious book about how to, um, how to drink wine. One is kind of more of a, you know, nonfiction, semi-serious, but, you know, also kind of irreverent book. Um, this book, um, The X is in my iPad, is a playlist of the men who rocked me to wine country um, by Lisa Matson. Lisa actually um, works for Jordan Winery, so um, I admit she is a friend of mine. Um, but uh, this is also a lot of fun. It's a lot less serious than the other two books. So I definitely think that if you have somebody who is a um, reader and a wine lover in your life, that those are some fun options. Another option, this Oxford Companion to Wine is just, for me, it is just absolutely invaluable. If somebody in your life is much more in the serious side of wine drinking, um, it's, it's just, it's by Janice Robinson and it is one of those invaluable resources where I just kind of want to 
recheck my um, wine knowledge or I just, you know, want a refresher or just I have a question. Like, it has whatever answer I want about wine. It's got it right there. Um, so I definitely recommend the Oxford uh, Companion to Wine. So that's kind of the book category. And so just two more thoughts. Obviously, for um, a wine lover, you can always grab a bottle of wine. Um, I think the idea of grabbing a bottle and dressing the bottle up a little bit is a lot of fun. You can see this is a little um, Santa outfit that I got from World Market. So it's I think it's a lot more fun to do it that way than stick it in a wine bag. Um, now the wine bags can be nice. You can find nice ones. But um, I thought that that was a lot of fun, especially if you're bringing it as a host gift or something like that. I think um, that really works. And this other one is... Um, so. I'll, not a lot of people know this, but if you're a baseball fan, um, if, or if your wine lover is a baseball fan, um, all of the baseball teams have a wine made for them. So, for example, um, I believe the San Francisco Giants, Mom Napa, makes their wine. So on their label, it's San Francisco Giants. Um, this is the Yankees. Um wine. It's um, a Riesling from the Finger Lakes in New York from Anthony Road Winery. I really like Anthony Road Winery. It's one of the Finger Lakes wineries I really enjoy going to. Um, and I happen to be a huge Yankees fan. So this is um, was right up my alley. But my brother and my sister-in-law are also huge Yankees fans. So I got this for them a couple of years ago. Definitely something to think about if you've got both a baseball and a wine lover fan in your um, buying list. And I think the last thing that I wanted to share with you is my wine rack. And a couple of times people have commented on the wine rack. And so I thought it would be just a quick good thing to share. It's from Loma Living. Um, they specialize in minimalist storage. So in addition to the wine um, rack, they do things like bike storage. Um, I think that that's the two big things I saw, bike storage and wine racks. Um, they actually, I admit, they gave this to me as a sample, um, and I do have one that I'm going to give away at the beginning of the year. But this eight-bottle wine rack is handmade. It's um, there in Philadelphia, and it's $60. And it's super easy to hang. It holds my wine perfectly. It looks, I think it looks great. I definitely recommend it. So it's one of those things where you can stay in the lower end of a budget but still get somebody something really nice that will look really good on their wall, but also will give them a chance to kind of display their wines um, and just, yeah, I, I've been a big fan of it. So um, I did uh, want to put that up there, out there um, as an option. I think that those are all of my ideas. I would love to know if you have any other ideas, if I left anything off my list that I should think about for next year, or is there anything on your list that you want to put out there? I'd, I'd love to know what, what you have on your, on your wish list in the, in the wine categories. And I think that that is everything I've got. I hope that you have a wonderful holiday. I will um, hopefully have a couple of other videos. I will definitely have one more um, video next Wednesday. Um, it'll be the last, uh, possibly the last one of the year. We're going to do some sparkling wine. So um, definitely tune in for that. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate those. If you're not already a subscriber, you can do that by clicking the character to right here or clicking on the subscribe button down below. But don't forget to also click on the bell, which will notify you when I upload a new video, which is going to be every Wine Wednesday. And if you are looking for a recommendation, you can find one right there. Have a wonderful Christmas. Happy Wine Wednesday. Cheers.